Hello everyone, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake. And this is Jake Reads Your Comments. Number whatever, I fucked that up bad. Yeah, the numbers are all fucked We're up. Just gonna... This is this is Jake Reads Your Comments, number uh, purple. Number purple. Number purple. Perfect. Anyway, today we're here to read some of your comments. And that's, that's, that's really it. Alright, this comment is from Chris Y, and this was on the last Jake Reads video. Hugo and Jake, read this please. Wish granted. Hey guys, I would like to say thank you. You guys are a big reason I am an atheist. I would like to ask both of you guys. I go to a Catholic... Um, do you mean school? I assume school. And I try to hold my tongue in theology class. How can I take the outrages... Outrageous. Wow. How can I take the outrageous claims my teacher thinks I have no morals and so do my parents and I need some tips on surviving Catholic home and school? My dad is a scientist and I'm so confused as to why he doesn't agree with me. I need your help. I am still young. I am just a freshman, but you guys have made my life so much better accepting that there is no heaven or hell. Thanks. I trudged through that. I could tell he was young yeah. while you were reading that. Yeah. I mean, that sucks. Uh, we get a lot of people that say very similar things, and we've answered kind of this before, but, you know, we don't usually get people that say, like, hey, I'm actively talking to my parents about it, and it's kind of a thing that's coming up. Um, but what I would do is if you want to talk to your parents about it, uh, there is a book out there by David McAfee. He's a really great guy, young guy, uh, really good writer. It's called Mom, Dad, I'm an Atheist. Uh, I'm not saying that you can get a free book, but sometimes it'll help people out if you contact him either on Twitter or by email or his website. Sometimes he might send you a copy or he can hook you up with free shipping. Or, I don't know, just something can work. So I would contact David McAfee, uh, and there's a link down in the description It'll be the first link in there. Uh, just head on over there. It's a really great book, and it's a really great resource for, you know, helping kids, especially if you're age where you're kind of like young high schoolers, uh, kind of accepting that you have non-belief in a Christian household. So go do that. Other than that, thanks for watching the show, man. I Woo! appreciate it. That was beautiful. That was a beautiful response. You're welcome. This is from Atheist Bible Study Number 1. What a terrible video. Bad one. Dave Garcia says, Hey guys, love the series, and I love that you guys reply to comments. Please tell me you're going to do something on Scientology at some point. If I've missed it, that's my bad, but I would love to hear your commentary on the whole, quote, religion. Cheers. Love when people end with cheers. It makes me think they're Australian or British or something. He's probably both. Both? Yeah, simultaneously? He just, he just lives in the Atlantic Ocean and can't decide where to pick. That's a good, that's uh, a good Also, his last name's Garcia, so he's got a little, little uh, Spanish flavor. A, a boat came by once, and it <laughs> had some Spanish people on it, and he picked it up. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I love that we reply to comments, too. It's one of the best parts about the job, actually. I'm surprised more people don't. Someone said the other day, it was so weird, they said they hate that we reply to comments. What? And their reasoning was... When you guys come to the comments, it becomes a... This is their words, not mine, because I totally disagree. It becomes an appeal to authority, and it makes the conversation harder to have for the rest what? of us. We're not an authority, though, are we? I know. I think they, they feel like, for some reason, when we comment on things, it makes it seem like because we're the heads of the YouTube channel, we are claiming to have some sort of expertise that they don't... Really? No. Oh. No. I'm, I'm implying. I'm assuming that's what they think. Oh, we don't. That's strange. And we don't think that about ourselves. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you want to apply that to us, thanks, but we're not that no. smart. Nope. So, um, anyways, to, to, to the comment, I guess, uh, we're not going to talk about Scientology that much. Um, if there's a cool video that we find that comes out and it's interesting and or funny, probably both, we might do a thing on it, but I don't know. It's, it's easy. easy. Target. It's yeah. so easy. It's, it's like if we went after Josh Fierstein or, or the... Not air quotes. Hot Megan Fox. I don't think actress Megan Fox is hot. She seems icky to me, like 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 dirty Christina Aguilera. But uh, you know, whatever you guys want. Uh, it, or the, or Ken Ham. I don't know. It just it seems too. Ha! Huh, that was a science fiction writer. The closest I think we would ever get is maybe eventually doing that HBO documentary going clear. But even yeah. that, you should probably just watch that. That's just a pretty good movie. Yeah. Um, but. I like know. I can't, I can't imagine us ever doing Scientology Reloaded because it doesn't need it. No, it's pretty much Dianetics Reloaded. It just, it just kind of worked out. Yeah, <laughs> like 
Good for good for El Ron. Talk to us in ten years when we have nothing left. Yeah, when we have to jump like the second shark. Yeah. After the after the book we're opening. riding the first shark over the second shark. <laughs> this is from Ask Hugo number like ten. Ask Hugo, you're poaching my questions, you know bro. It. You know it. Anyway, Elijah Alfred says, Hugo and Jake, thank you so much. I came out as an atheist to my parents that I was, and my parents are Mormons, and you guys really helped me get educated and influenced me, so thank you so much. Also, Dark Matter 2525, but that's beside the point. So thanks, and this is a great show. We've done an awful job educating you on how to properly form an English language sentence. I'm surprised the people who watch this show understand us because of of, of, of the... <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> we don't have run-on sentences when we talk. We actually have commas and periods. Implied commas implied. and periods. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes we literally say comma, so... Yeah. Sorry for giving you a hard time, Elijah Alfred, but you should you should uh, go to English class and, and pay attention, I think. Um... I'm not mad at you. I'm just disappointed. Uh, but other than that, uh, glad you have a, uh, I don't know, positive experience here. We're not really Mormon-centric, but uh, I know that the Bible, the regular Bible, is uh, involved. But good news, we have an actual Book of Mormon that I got from Mormon missionaries. It's in my hand right now. It's, it's blue and flexy, and uh, we'll, go, we'll get through that, uh, I don't know, probably after the Bible. So, uh, you're going to be like, I assume you're like 16 now. You're going to be like in your 30s. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, we'll, we'll probably do the Book of Mormon after. It's a little hard to read, but I think at that point, uh, much like Scientology Reloaded, we will be on our second or third shark, and we'll just have run out of religious material. So Yeah, so we'll do that. This is from a chick track, Satan Comes to Salem, we did a little while back. Jasper Dale says, Thanks for reminding us that Jesus warned in the last days that there would be people like you. I fall and worship before my Lord Jesus. He is returning soon. I can't wait to be with my Lord. Cool, man. All right, I'm, right on. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good that you're good with that. It's impressive that I, I don't... I always hate this argument because, yeah, yeah if I was writing a book... That I assume people wouldn't believe. I'd also say, and people won't believe you when you believe this. Yeah. But it's true. Yeah. See, I foresaw that people wouldn't believe it, thus giving more clout to what I'm right. saying in the book. It's like in the movie when they have that cliche, he said you'd say that, and then you don't trust them. Well, yeah, because anyone would say that. Yeah. Like any single... Pr it probably says that in like every holy book ever. Like, people are going to say it's bullshit, but it's, seriously, it's not bullshit, guys. I guarantee it says um, that in at least the Quran. Yeah. Beyond that, I this he's returning soon business. What's your statute of limitations on it? Like when is when is waiting just too long? Like if you had I don't know, Jasper, I assume you're a dude. Since you're so religious, I assume you're a straight dude. Say you went off to war nineteen forty four. You died via Nazi. They killed you. How long is your wife expected to wait for you to return before it's like okay? I'm going to move on. I'm going to guess less than 2,000 years. Less than 2,000? Probably less than 2,000. Okay, like like half half the time he was away? Like if he was gone for two years, one year? I don't know. I, don't, I think that's case by case. But still, you wouldn't expect that from any, any normal person. I don't know why you'd expect that from a guy. Who you've never even seen in the first place. Yeah, so. and he's tanner than you'd probably enjoy. Like, I don't know. Doesn't speak your language. Anyway. He speaks my language, though. The language of love. This is from our Fists of Jesus video where we played that game Fists of Jesus and answered questions and talked over it. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, this is actually a reply to a comment. It's a reply to my reply of his comment, so this is like number three down the thread. And we're talking about the Civil War and why it was fought, basically. Yeah. And Liberated Anon says, It's about a state's right not to be put up as a collateral for U.S. debts to England. The government used sla the slavery issue as a way to get public support, but really Lincoln wanted to put up the southern states as collateral for the debt the original colonies still owed to England. The southern states were bought from the French and never had anything to do with England, so they wanted to secede. Which, by the way, the Constitution doesn't say a state can't do. Oh, I think that that's implied. Anyway, as of the Declaration of Independence, slavery was technically illegal since all men are created equal and have inalienable rights. Okay, wow. so um, <clears throat> I haven't read this until just now, yeah, and I'm I I you know I've heard stuff like this before, uh, and it bugs me. 
because uh, if you don't know, Jakey Poo here, uh, I'm a history major. So when I read stuff like this, I go, oh, another one. But I decided to educate. But I figured nobody else would see it besides this guy because it was buried down in the comments because I mined deep on that, on that video. So here is my reply. First of all, and this is not in any way meant to make your argument invalid, and I'm not resting on this, but you fucking suck at spelling and exhibiting proper grammar. It's annoying, and you should do better. Sorry, but I had to get that off my chest. You disgust me. As for your arguments, I will now proceed to take a shit on top of them. The debts to England were pretty much the cause of the Revolutionary War. They bailed us out against the French and Spanish, and they raised some taxes for doing so. But the colonists didn't like that. After the Revolutionary War, the debts weren't hanging over our heads in the same way, so it's strange that you assert the states are collateral stuff so much when they had no legal precedent, monetary backing, or a strong enough military to even take it if they were owed it. They weren't. As for the South's motivation, I figure I'd let you read it for yourself. Here's an excerpt from American History U.S. Since South Carolina was the catalyst, we will start there. The Secession Convention of the State produced a document entitled the Declaration of Immediate Causes which induce and justify the secession of South Carolina to the Federal Union. They needed a better title guy. That was a poor title. But that's I guess that's how they rolled back in the day. Anyways. That never would have stuck historically. <laughs> that's why the nation didn't stick. Declaration <laughs> of Independence? Succinct. That was too long for a secessionist document. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Declaration asserted that the northern states had combined in league to subvert the original scope of the Constitution, namely that the northern states were failing to return fugitive slaves in violation of their obligations under Article 4 of the Constitution. The northern states tolerated abolitionists and insurrectionists, such as John Brown, who incited slaves in the south to rebel. Misguided political and religious beliefs in the North made future sectional unity impossible. Some states were elevating persons incapable of becoming citizens, i.e. free blacks, and using their votes to support anti-slavery policies. The Republican Party was planning to wage war against slavery upon taking office in March 1861. If you want the full declaration the South made, it's in the description. And it will say, Declaration the South Made. Uh, so basically what the, what I'm saying is the South doesn't even agree with why what you're saying. The South is saying, no, these are the reasons, and you are disagreeing with what they said. Yeah. So here's why they seceded. Uh, as for your claim that session is legal, I submit to you the words of Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia. Scalia wrote in 2006, The answer is clear. If there was any constitutional issue resolved by the Civil War, it is that there is no right to secede. Lastly, the Declaration of Independence has no legal authority. If you wish to learn more, please visit the link in the description. It will say, the Declaration of Independence on legality. Do people actually think the Declaration, the Declaration yes, of Independence... Yes, all the time. That wasn't even... No. We hadn't even drafted a constitution. The constitution wasn't for years. Right, it wasn't... The, the constitution we have now is, the, is ten years after the one I know, we had because we had the Articles of Confederation, which were shit. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, and that, that was uh, via the Heritage Foundation, by the way. That said, it does indeed provide a framework from which legalities can be created, and that is exactly what has happened over the years. I hope you enjoy your free lesson. I think you win. I win. Especially because this is a one-way conversation. Also, since I have a formal education. There you go. And, it, and I'm not just yelling at the internet. No, we're yelling in the internet, and that's how we win. It's totally different. We're we, we're eating it from within, like a like a like a blood disease. Right. But also, if you notice, I I uh, tend to provide links to sources to sources. Yeah, it's the internet. Who needs sources? Nah. Sources are a detriment, if anything, because then I have to click on them and then I have to think more. <laughs> this is from Ask Hugo sixteen. God damn it! You're <laughs> stealing my questions. It's okay. I didn't pick this one for mine anyway. I thought it was shit. So you get my table scraps. That's how I roll. Mr. Sideliner asks, Dear Hugo, because again, my fucking question, <laughs> would you make a Harold Penisman a more prominent character on this channel, colon, capital D? I don't know what colon capital D means. That's a smiley. I'm it's kidding. a big old smiley. Obviously I know. That's how I, I make him like that too, except I use an equal sign for the eyes. You do. It's adorable. Yeah. You do do that. So anyone who ever gets a, is fortunate enough to get a text from Hugo, very rarely... Like, when the moon is aligned with, I don't know, a sea or however the celestial bodies work. 
He'll give you an equal sign smiley face, and it's super cute. Someone shouldn't... One time, Jake accidentally um, tweeted a picture with my phone number in it, very briefly. Yeah, like for a second. And, Some, and someone did... Uh, it was Mike. <laughs> yeah, someone texted me, like, p- pretending they didn't know who I was and just creeping on me. Um, so I sent them back a picture of a gaping vagina. Yeah. He probably liked that, though. Mike is a weirdo. Yeah. He told me he did it. And I was like, oh, That oops. was fun. That was a mistake. I was in the hospital with my mom at the time. She made it. It's okay. <laughs> um, uh, we would make Harold Penisman a more prominent character on the channel. The thing is, we need uh, to make our own art for it because he's not ours. Yeah, I mean, we don't we named own... him. We named him Harold Penisman, but, but he comes from a New Age healer. He was inspired by a New Age healer in the Chick Tractor we did with the Armored Skeptic, which was fucking hilarious. It's one of my favorite. I think it might be my favorite recording with another person besides Arn Ra. Yeah. I think that was really informative and interesting. Plus, Aaron has the best laugh in the history of the planet. Yeah. Um, but, no, we want to. Uh, we, we'd we have to make uh, our own things. And I have an artist, Izzy, who I've mentioned before. Uh, he's done a lot of stuff for us that maybe you don't even notice. Like, our, our start and end screens are different this can we call it a season this year? I don't know how that works. Uh, but he designed those. And he made. He's he's helping us. And he's he's doing a video game for us. He made a T-shirt design for us. Uh, and so I feel bad not paying him for this kind of shit. So uh, we would pay him. Also, we need just. I need a new machine, like a new laptop. Hugo has a laptop. I finally got a new one. Uh, mm-hmm. I was able to save enough oh, to get three that. Three years too late. I but... know, which is pretty rad. So don't worry, the show won't close down because both our laptops break at once. I'd hope not. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty it, nice too. I can play like Skyrim on uh, on, on high. super high settings with the new with the enhanced graphics mods. That's pretty rad. Uh, but yeah, so the the idea for the Harold Penisman thing, if you haven't caught the uh, at the end of ep- the last two episodes or so, or maybe three, uh, we've mentioned that our new goal for Patreon is is two thousand bucks because we hit our thousand to do the Quran Reloaded. For 2000 uh, once we get there, we'll have enough. I will probably have been able to upgrade at that point. So that, uh, and, and I need a little bit more. It's starting to bog down. Every, even just editing regular videos, it, it starts to freeze and shit. And that's just a slideshow. Uh, but what we'll need is, it'll be sort of animated, kind of like old style South Park. If you, So I'll have interchangeable parts and he'll move around kind of like that, sitting behind his desk. It'll be like a talk show. And we've kind of shot around. Maybe uh, Hugo will do the weather with Uncle Charlie. Uh, Uncle Charlie. Right, and his interpreter, grandma, lady, and uh, maybe Eye Patch Grandpa. We'll we'll have some funny stuff. It'll be Chick Tracks characters, but but it'll, le- but it'll be ours for legal reasons, loosely based on Chick Tracks characters. Yeah, art. pretty much. And it'll be like a talk show. So I might have like Steve Shives might show up, Creationist Cat might show up. Uh, we might just have like current events. It'll be like the. I'm thinking kind of in my head, it's like the Daily Show, but I'm sure this kind of thing will evolve over time because it's really hard to book people like that. It'll only be once a month though. So, I don't know. But yeah, so probably within the next eight months, I foresee it. Uh, eight months? That's a bold prediction, Cotton. <laughs> what was, what's, what's the other guy's name? I don't remember. Kip? I don't, I don't know. know. But uh, but yeah, so that's the plan. Um, so hopefully hopefully we can get that and I can upgrade and because uh, I'll, I'll want to edit those because I am Harold Penisman. So. Harold Penisman! Harold Penisman! He's a man of honor! Uh, yeah, also there's a, uh, at Harold P. Penisman in Twitter. That's the, that's the official TBR-sponsored that's the, that's Harold the, Penisman account. That's the real Harold Penisman. Yeah. Who um, is, who, he, he lives in our apartment. Yeah, he's... In the background. He's, uh, it's, I black out at nights and wake up and I've just crashed through a window and clothes will be on the floor and no one in sight. But drugs are taped to you. Yeah. That's right great. to your nips. This is from Atheist Bible Study number 74, and uh, uh, in that episode I had mentioned that all our other videos are much more popular and the Bible studies are basically the table scraps yeah. of our show now. Um, by the way, if you haven't been watching our Atheist Bible Study because of the David stuff, David's going to be gone, so it's yeah. it's getting much better. Also, I think all the episodes have been pretty good thus far. Yeah. Um, but I-, I think people just might just get bored of the same story over and over. But he's, oh, he's gone, though! We're in Kings! Wednesday, last Wednesday was the first, our first Kings. Yeah, so check that out. Anyway. Krazul says, No, I don't want any chick tracks. I don't want any movie reviews. I want the Bible, baby. Please hear hear my please and focus on the Bible. Okay, you spelled spelled please incorrectly both times. Please 
Did you mean hear my plea? Like, like pleas and cries. Like, I'm pleading with you. I don't understand even what he meant by this sentence. Please hear my pleas. Did you mean hear, please hear my plea? Oh, please hear, hear me, please. I, yeah, it was fucked up, man. Either way, uh, the point is, we do three Bible episodes uh, a month, really. Uh, sometimes we'll get it to four. But really, it goes, it goes, on Wednesdays are when we upload our big stuff. So it'll go Bible, Bible, usually a movie. Bible, Bible, usually a movie. Sometimes we'll do a chick trek and we'll do a movie on a Friday or something, depending on how our schedules work. But uh, every Wednesday, save one per month, we should we have Bible studies. And then on the Fridays, because it's really hard to do the Bible studies because we both have to research, read, and edit them. The editing is the hardest part. They take a long time. Because you got to find pictures every like 10 to yeah. 30 seconds. That was a tactical mistake on my part. I sh- that, was, that was bad. But... Uh, we're sticking with that goddamn formula because it's working, and also I think I think it adds to it. Um, so we've been doing Jake Reed's uh, Chick Tracks, Ash Hugo's, and sometimes random shit like Fist of Jesus on Fridays because they're a little bit easier to, to edit. Uh, they're not as time-consuming for us, but the quality is still there, and you guys still like it. Um, and that's also why the movie reviews go on Wednesdays because Hugo's been doing most of the movie reviews, and he's, and he's been doing a fantastic job, but those take him several hours to complete because there's just so much to get through more than several <laughs> more than several 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 squared hours like if i put it off till the day before oh. which happens because i'm a piece of shit oh that, yeah that's whole, your that whole day, day is yeah. gone yeah, no, it's it's and it's it, <laughs> which is my fault that's it's my okay fault. though i mean granted we have uh, i can't bitch about work we used to work in much worse places oh yeah than that. totally I mean, this is much better um also um it's going to get a little more hectic because I think we're going to be uploading on Tuesdays to Unpop again. Uh, although Mondays might work, but Tuesdays are a pretty good day to upload. So we'll see how that goes. We'll probably try Tuesdays the first month here. And so on the 12th, we'll be uh, uh, resurrecting unpopular culture with uh, a daredevil uh, thing. Uh, kind of how we did Who Cares, only we're going to do them in blocks of, of three, episodes, three episodes. And then and then we'll do the finale just as its own thing because it's got so much. Uh, and then we'll also do, we'll alternate that with like a Daredevil and then a game and then Daredevil, a game, Daredevil, until we're done with Daredevil and then we'll pick something new and it'll be like that uh, until we really get into the role and figure out our new schedules for both channels. Uh, but we really, really hate not have been working on Unpop. It's just, we we got fucked up for a while. and But we're good now. We're good and we're, we're powerful and we punch dance in our living room naked uh, with sparklers and... and I don't know what else we do. Naked sparklers are a bad combination. Yeah, but we have we have very resilient peni and crotches. So that's it. So that's it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah. Jake reads your comments. It's yep. really getting into my territory now. So I'm yeah. gonna have to. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to get some new some new henchmen. Yeah. To cover your corner because I'm coming. Yeah. Importantly, right now we're doing a Teespring. So Indeed. If you, and people have talked about before they want borderless tees. So that's so what we're doing this dead. time. It's just the logo itself on the shirt without the border. Looks very, very cool, very nice. So even if you already have a Bible Reloaded shirt, yeah. you have no excuse not to buy I, this. Consume. I, I actually bought one because they were really cool. I, know, I actually really enjoyed it. I'll probably get one. I was surprised nice. that I liked it as much as I did because we'd gotten that suggestion for the last two che- Teesprings. And I was like, I don't know. It takes, you know, uh, that's not the logo. But it actually, they were right. It, yeah. it was really, really Looks cool. Good. And then um, also... We'll probably work into some Team Hugo, Team Jake Teesprings later on in the year, probably closer to four months from summer, now. Summer, closer to summer, late, late summer. We're in summer, but probably late summer, early early fall, sort of like that. Uh, and then we'll do one more for Christmas. We'll probably do the TBR Christmas stuff. Maybe we'll have some more. Uh, also, I want a Harold Penisman shirt at some point, so when we start getting some art for that, we'll throw that up and see if you guys enjoy that. I think it'll be fun. But the thing with Teespring is we can only do one design at a time, but we can do it on several different types of clothing right so we kind of have to spread out that kind of thing until we either get our own merch hub uh which we like which we wouldn't like to do as much because it makes you guys spend more money and we don't get as much of a cut so it's, it's, it's bad it's for everyone lose. except uh, for the so person we can, we can do these and also by the way teespring lowered its uh shipping costs I noticed that, like domestically, if you live in the U.S., it's only three ninety five for shipping instead of I think it was like six bucks last time. Yeah. And then it also lowered for Canada and international. I know some people internationally are playing twenty bucks. It's I think thirteen fifty now. I could be wrong. It's right, it's around there though. Uh, so it's not as bad if you're like a 
fan and you live in Australia or something, it's it's it won't it won't bone you as much. And the search are only fifteen bucks anyway. So long winded, but no less true. Teespring, super awesome. So I think that's it. You can always follow us on Twitter at Bible Reloaded. You can follow Hugo at Hugo Reloaded. You can follow Harold Penisman at Harold P. Penisman. You can always subscribe. You can donate to our Patreon and help us get to the Harold Penisman thing. And I think that's it. It is. So until next time, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jake. This has been Jake Reads Your Comments, number whatever the fuck Number purple. And I read them.